Hey Nelly Addicts, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today I am doing a set of press-ons for a co-worker of mine. And she has ordered from me probably about four other times. And I'll insert some pictures of her previous nail sets because I typically don't record the nail sets that I'm doing for her. But since this one was a Valentine's Day themed nail set, I thought this would be a good opportunity to show y'all how I make my press-ons. And she lets me freestyle. So I thought of a great idea. She has a tattoo of a heartbeat with the uh, EKG symbols on it. And I thought, you know what? I think I want to recreate that on some nails. I absolutely love the way this turned out and I text her a picture of it and she loved it too. Okay, so for this set, she likes neutral colors. She likes stuff that's simple because like I said, she likes to wear them to work. And so the powder that I use is one of the lines from iGel Beauty. It's called Rosé. It is an acrylic, but since I have not started working with monomer and acrylic yet, you can use it as a dip powder because, you know, acrylic powder and dip powder are the same thing. So the same way you can use your dip powders with dip liquid, you can also use them with monomer. So I for this method, I did the gel method with the dip powder. I used it as a dip powder using the gel method. And that's how I got it to be so opaque and even. I just buffed it out, made sure that the surface was smooth and so that the base coat and the top coat gel could stick really good to it. So you guys know I'm a DIYer and I made it a practice of mine to try different things and so with this set I know that this is for a co-worker and I'm gonna do my very best but she knows I'm a DIYer also so I use this as an opportunity to think outside of the box and to practice on stuff that I know that I personally want to work on so for this set, it did a dual purpose, and that was for me to practice my line work, hand drawing lines. So do not come for me <laughs> with these lines. She knows that I am not a professional. Y'all know I'm not professional. And like anything you want to do in life, you have to practice, and you have to start from somewhere and it helps when you have friends and family that will allow you to practice and give you constructive criticism and they encourage you to keep going. So, even if y'all do come for me down in the comments, I don't care. I know that I'm doing my very best and the more I practice, the better I'm going to get. So how I do my press-ons is I map out which 10 fingers uh, you actually have that's going to fit the nail because I already have your sizes. And I do the design on those 10 fingernails. Then I provide extra nails that have some of the design, maybe with a slight variance to it so that way you can mix and match what nails you want to wear you can almost wear two different sets of nails um, with the one package that I give 
So I also include various sizes. Typically, if I have enough room, I will give two nails per number. And some of the nails, like I said, the extra nails will have just like a basic design. So that's what I'm doing here. These are still a part of her set of 10. So I'm just doing a, not even like a French tip, just a little accent at the bottom half with the same heartbeat design on it, but going in a different direction. So after I did those 10, the bottom nails, which are the extra nails, just have the red tip outlined in black. It doesn't have a heart on it. It doesn't have the heartbeat sign on it or nothing like that. So that way, if she wanted to just wear them just really simple, really plain, she has the opportunity to do that also. And that's how I give all my sets of press-ons to all my customers. Of course, you know you can order them off my website, ocdbeauty at etsy.com. You just put it down in the comments what you want, or you can pick from what I already have. I'm gonna let the rest of this play out. It's only a little bit more, and then I'll pop back in at the end. All right, Nelly Addicts, this is the completed set. I definitely think this turned out really good. Like I said, she loved it. I love it. I almost want to go ahead and do my own set because this was just so cute. I'm so glad you guys watched to the end of the video to see the final results. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And thank you guys so much for being a part of my journey. Bye!